10 terrifying cursed objects that actually exist. You can track down these objects for yourself if you think we're lying. Just kidding. You better stay as far away as you can. And this includes any other cursed objects closer to your locality. This list proves that certain things can become accursed. It's the reality of the spiritual realm that surrounds us. Stay till the end, because in a minute, we'll be discussing 10 terrifying cursed objects that actually exist out there. Let's get started. Number 10, the Dybbuk Box. The Dybbuk Box is named after the supposed malicious spirit that it contains. A Dybbuk can wreak havoc on whomever owns the box at any given time. It's like Aladdin's lamp, which contained a genie. But instead of granting its owner something positive, it does the exact opposite. It originally belonged to a Holocaust survivor and has been passed down through the generations to various owners. At some point, it was put on eBay for sale with the requisite warning that it was likely to bring a little bad luck to whoever purchased it. Even at that, it's a great collector's item for paranormal enthusiasts. It was also the inspiration for the 2012 movie titled The Possession. Over the years, some of its owners have said they smelt cat urine or the scent of jasmine flowers when they were around it. For some others, it gave them nightmares. One owner even reported inexplicable hair loss as one of its curses. Number nine, the cursed mirror of Myrtle's plantation. If only revenge and reparation for slavery was that easy. This mirror in question can be found in the Myrtle's estate. The backstory is the Myrtle family were cruel slave masters back when slavery was still a thing. So one enterprising maid dared to poison the family by baking a cake. She had mixed in a potent dosage of poison and proceeded to serve the family their dinner. The Myrtle matron and her two daughters fell for it and died instantly. So how exactly does the mirror come in? The supernatural answer is mirrors aren't supposed to be exposed at the time of a death. So this mirror wasn't covered as required and the spirits of the matron and her two daughters have since taken refuge in it. Tourists who have visited the estate claim that they can see the images of Mrs. Myrtle and her daughters when the light catches the mirror at a certain angle. There are also fingerprint smudges that could only have come from her daughters. Number eight, Little Bastard. We're still talking about cursed objects, right? Here's one that is special. Little Bastard is the name given to the Porsche model which James Dean, an actor, once drove. Sadly, it was also what killed him. Just prior to his death, a colleague named Alec Guinness had somehow prophesied that he would be involved in a car accident, and this came true. Subsequently, its parts were salvaged and used in other cars. Strangely enough, those cars that now had the spare parts taken from Little Bastard got into accidents of their own. It was even more bizarre when certain thieves who had tried to steal the chassis after it had been stripped ended up dying badly too. So even luxury cars can become cursed too? I would certainly think twice before buying one with relatively bad mileage at an auction. Number seven, the chair of death. This guy took his jealous possessiveness to new heights. His name was Thomas Busby and he was executed for killing his father-in-law. And what exactly did his father-in-law do to be snuffed out so cruelly? His father-in-law had simply sat on Thomas's chair. And it may be that Thomas had repeatedly warned him and eventually lost his patience. Crazy stuff. This happened in the year 1702. So it's not like there was an important baseball game playing on TV or the radio. Those gadgets hadn't even been invented. So what was it about this chair? Suffice to say, Thomas's last words before his head was chopped off was a curse on whoever would sit on the chair in the future. Since then, anyone who accidentally sat on it became cursed. It was transferred to a pub, and during the war, any soldier on leave who just so happened to have their drink while sitting on it subsequently died in battle. Number six, the Hope Diamond. Now, here's some expensive stuff that doubles as being cursed. 
at least cursed objects are not for the poor and suffering alone. Either way, rich folk can afford to toss their prized belongings and replace them at the snap of a finger. We bet if you gave this same highly expensive piece of jewelry to a poor person, he would find a way to make it work, irrespective of the curse. The Hope Diamond is an heirloom passed down through the ages within certain European royal families. At some point, the famous Cartier jewelers owned the stone. Presently, it is locked up in the National Museum of Natural History in the U.S. But before now, it has left behind a trail of wolf attacks, suicides, and disease to its owners. Boo-hoo, the rich also cry. Number five, Tutankhamun's tomb. King Tut's tomb was discovered in 1922. He is a former pharaoh of Egypt, and you'd think that archaeologists have become wiser to curses associated with opening ancient tombs. Countless movies have been made about the dark aspects of ancient civilizations, and the tomb of King Tut didn't disappoint in that regard. Since it was uncovered, all the archaeologists who worked on it died terrible deaths. Even tourists who may have visited the site over the years were not spared of its deathly curse. Number four, the crying boy painting. What started as good inspiration for a painting has since turned deadly. An artist named Seville stumbled upon a little boy crying in the street. Seville thought this was beautiful and proceeded to capture the moment in painting. Unbeknown to him, the little boy was crying because his parents had just died in a fire that consumed their house and the boy had survived. Seville went on to mass produce the painting, but it turned out Anyone who bought this painting fell into the same curse. Any house the painting occupied always went up in flames. It seems that little boy had such a strong spirit. Number three, the haunted wedding dress. Weddings are such joyful experiences, but for Anna Baker, it meant tragedy, and she subsequently died as a spinster. Her father hadn't approved of her fiance, and so her wedding was canceled. In protest, she swore never to fall in love with another man. She had really looked forward to this wedding, and the wedding dress she had picked out was proof of this. After her failed wedding, the same dress was put away as a reminder of a romance that could have been. Anna died in 1914, and her would-be wedding dress has been preserved to this day. Its custodians have observed that it shakes violently when the full moon is out, because of the curse Anna left on it. The Baker family house has since become a museum, and in 1981, Life magazine designated the property as one of the most haunted in America. So to all the fathers out there, never lead your bride of a daughter hanging. Number two, Annabelle. Annabelle is the name of a stuffed doll belonging to two nurse school roommates named Donna and Angie. They started to experience inexplicable happenings around them associated with the doll. At least they were observant enough to not let it ruin their lives. So they consulted a spiritual medium or two. Demonologists Eddie and Lorraine Warren subsequently revealed that the doll was a conduit to hell itself. Whoa. So how many little girls had it condemned to the fire so far? These two women quickly encased it before it could possess any more human hosts. To be fair, they tried to exorcise the demon, but to no success. On their way home, the doll seemed to tamper with their car as they drove. They almost died, and afterwards, a customer challenged the women for keeping such an evil item. On his way out, he got involved in an accident while riding his motorcycle. Annabelle probably contained a demon that was exorcised and trapped in it. You know, like how Jesus banished some evil spirits into a herd of swine in the Bible. Number one, the Iceman, also known as Utsi, was discovered in 1991 in the Alp Mountains range between Austria and Italy. If you don't get what we're talking about yet, this was a human corpse that had been preserved in the snow. Tourists who stumbled upon it thought they'd found the body of a Sherpa or mountain climbing guide who may have died recently. But scientists were soon surprised that this was a body 
dating back to 3300 BC. We know that life was probably rough during that time, and it was either kill or be killed. Utsi may have fell victim to raiders who were after his herd of sheep. It was also discovered that he may have died from an arrow wound to his shoulder or even a blow to the head. Strangely too, several people involved with its salvage have since died. Are we talking about some biblical times curse here? Utsi was found in Austria, not in the Middle East, so that theory falls apart. Or perhaps we are dealing with a godless society who worshipped their own spirit gods and performed rituals. Now, for the purpose of our education, tell us in the comments section how you might conclude that an object is actually cursed. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell button to see more of our videos.